Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. We're going to be taking a look at Jim Beam Red Stag Black Cherry. If you want to learn more about it, I'll be right back. Welcome back to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Like I said, we're taking a look at the Jim Beam Red Stag. 32.5% uh, alcohol by volume which makes it about 65 proof. Now this is one of the first adventures Jim Beam took into flavored whiskey. If it wasn't the first, actual first to be honest with you, I'm thinking it was the actual first, but there might have been another one I'm not aware of. But it's definitely a whiskey. It's not a bourbon. Bourbons have a totally different set of standards. Like you kind of add flavor to your bourbon. Because if you do, it's a whiskey. And basically that's what they did. They're taking uh, like a whiskey liqueur and adding Jim Beam bourbon to it. Or just adding cherry liqueur to Jim Beam. However you want to look at it. And as soon as I open that, I get a, sm a very mild black cherry smell. You, you can actually smell the alcohol in it. Now, when I drink whiskey, when I go out and drink whiskey, or even when I drink it at home, what I like to do is add ice to it, let the ice melt down, uh, gets rid of that carbon taste. Um, your, your whiskey, like uh, Jim Beam, Jack Daniels, They'll use charred oak barrels where they catch the inside of the barrel on fire, let it go out, and that's where your carbon taste comes from. And if you let the ice melt in it, it kind of weakens the carbon taste. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Oh, that is nice and smooth. Now, if you're wondering why I get the big bottle, I um, didn't, didn't get the big bottle. Uh, because if you get the big bottle, you drink the big bottle. Depending where you go. I've seen this. It's 200 milliliters. I've seen it range between 595, which is about the highest, down to about 395, 399, somewhere around there. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure I've seen it higher somewhere else, but I can't remember. Um, the bigger bottle per ounce or per milliliter is actually cheaper. But like I said, you get the big bottle, you drink the big bottle. But it does have a nice black cherry taste. You get a slight hint of alcohol, but nothing overbearing. Now, this would, this would pair real well with a nice cigar. Um, sit down on your back porch, put some ice in it, some red stag, nice cigar. I, I, that's, a good, I, that's a good afternoon or a good evening after you get off of work. And just relaxing and enjoying a nice glass of red stag. Just don't drink too much of it or you won't make it to work the next day. But with all that said, I really like this, okay? I've had it, i got to be honest, I've had it before. Um, it's, it's my go-to whiskey. Like I said, I usually add ice to it because it still has that little hint of that carbon taste and letting the ice melt will get rid of it. Um, Price-wise, it's, it's in the range of the other flavored liqueurs and flavored whiskeys. So the price is, I'm going to say, spot on. Flavor. Jim Beam really knocked it out of the park with this. Um, it's the most popular flavored whiskey, and I can understand why. It was the first one, so or one of the first ones, so they actually got it right. So I'm going to give this a solid 5 out of 5. Um, if you never had it before, 
I'd recommend uh, the small bottle, 200 milliliter. They also have it in 50 milliliters. I think they also have a 375 bottle, which is a little bit bigger than this. But I definitely start with the small bottle. Try it if you like it. Go ahead, upgrade to the big bottle. I can't think of anything that would really mix well with, um, except for maybe like Coke. Add to Coke, make like a cherry Coke flavor. Might be good. I don't drink soda, so I wouldn't know. Okay, so we're going to give this a solid 5 out of 5. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.